set for more action here at Up Next Fighting. Two more rising stars about to collide as Dabo Babakhanian takes on Daniel Guadalajara. Take us through what you see in the tail of the tape. Yeah, both these guys coming out of storied camps. KD MMA versus the training lab. Karin Darabedian, the head coach at KD MMA. And uh, Guadalajara training under Mark Munoz, former UFC star. So this should be a hell of a fight, Todd. No question about it. Cannot wait. Here to bring out the competitors, Rain Cruz. UNF fans, please welcome our fighters for our next bout. Making his way to the cage, Daniel Guadalajara. Daniel Guadalajara comes in undefeated, putting that unblemished record on the line. His victory, unanimous decision, win over Herb Mafungo uh, just one month ago. And I watched some footage of that fight, Jonathan. A very aggressive striker, a pressure fighter. And if you get into the ground, he's gonna pressure you as well as we take a look at some of the notes on Danielle. Yeah, I'm not a big anime fan, but his favorite anime carries Baka Hanma. Striking is crisp, but he grew up as a wrestler, so he's got that pedigree in the bank. Let's see if he's gonna if he can rely on that wrestling to back up his striking. Uh, you know, he's really into anime outside of the cage. And he's looking to direct a movie with a friend, actually. So uh, Daniel Guadalajara, a very well-rounded individual inside the cage and outside of the cage. He's also teammates with Brady Huang, who has obviously been able to improve and fight here at UNF. And so he understands what it is to be fighting on a stage of this level as we take a look at what he needs to do. Yeah, for Guadalajara, he's got to stay long, utilize his footwork, stay active. That's the key. He's got to stay active, present a challenge for his opponent, keep the punches in his face. And introducing his opponent, making his way to the cage, Dava Babacanya. Great reception. In his debut for Davo Babakhanian, but you mentioned Brady Huang, and what an incredible fight he just had here. An amazing submission, submission of the night. Got slammed, immediately turned it into a heel hook for the victory. We'll see if Guadalajara can do much of the same. But this guy, talking about Babakhanian, looks to be an incredible athlete. Well look, just his style, he is exciting, he's in outstanding physical shape, and he's all business. He's not worried about the likes. I feel like this guy, if he had a fight in the parking lot, you have Alba Morales, who's gonna fight in the month of July, right there cheering him on. When you train with guys like that, you yourself are a monster, because iron sharpens iron. If the medics did a blood test on this guy, Jonathan, I think they'd find ice water running through his veins. Yeah, they'd also find 100% Armenian blood in this guy, born and bred in Armenia. Another one of the long lineage of strong Armenian fighters. Training out of KD MMA, you see Corin Darabedian applying some last minute face paint there as Larry Landis looks on. Baba Kanyan's gotta come out heavy in this fight if he wants to make a, a lasting impression. You see the shin guards are on for this fight. For Baba Kanyan, he's gotta stick to his training. Stay true to his game plan and look for the takedowns where he can implement that KD MMA background. Davo, we've alluded to his aggression. We saw it and heard it in his pre-fight interview. This is his debut and when asked for a prediction, he said, my opponent's head, bouncing off the campus. Here to set the stage for this battle in the Bantamweight division, Rain Cruz. You and us fans, this fight is set for three rounds in the Bantamweight division. Your referee in charge, George Gallegos. And introducing first, out of the pool corner, standing at six foot two, weighing in at 152 pounds. His record, one win and no loss. Representing the training lab, and fighting for the Sherman Oaks, California, Daniel Guadalajara. And 
And his opponent, out of the red corner, making his MMA debut tonight. Standing at six feet tall, weighing at 154 pounds, representing KG MMA. Electric atmosphere here in Commerce Casino for this one. Certainly as you hear the chant of Davo go out from the faithful, and quite frankly, there's a lot of them here for Davo Babakhanian making his debut. But he's got a, a hill to climb here in Daniel Guadalajara, who's got a fight under his belt and a victory at that. And these two come out Swinging for the fence, is trying to change levels early is Guadalajara. Guadalajara looking to land a knee on the inside there. Baba Kanyan doing a good job of fending it off. That takedown attempt. For Baba Hanian, the expectation is high. Now how will he perform under those big expectations from the faithful here at Commerce Casino? Yeah, he's got to stay fundamentally sound here. You don't want to overcommit like he did just there, leaving that right hand out. Allowing Guadalajara to, to counter. Many great Armenian fighters here in the Southern Cal California region. As oh, Guadalajara the got, buckled the knees. He got buckled there for sure. Rubbery legs there for a minute. And Baba Hanian trying to add to that legacy, as I mentioned, of just incredibly tough Armenian fighters here in this region. Guadalajara in on the hips, able to get the fight to the mat, and now working out of side control. As that's Baba Kanyan trying to tie up the guard here. Sorry, Ray. Now that's big for Guadalajara to be able to get a takedown and, and try to take the crowd out of this. You need to take away and, and bring Baba Hanian back down to earth and allow him to have that oh, adrenaline he's out. he's out just like oh that. Oh, my God. Big right hand for Guadalajara. Oh, my Lord. Death from above. Unbelievable. And, and a rookie mistake there by Baba Hanian. You mentioned the pressure was on him. He couldn't withstand the pressure of that ground and pound. Did not defend himself, and those came from way up in the heavens. Guadalajara took him down. He started to unload, and then he saw his opening, got a lot of leverage, and bang, he ended the night. But the thing was, he took down Baba Hanian, and he put him in his world, and he finished it in abrupt fashion. Baba Hanyan still got rubber in both his legs as they sit him down on the stool. Tremendous job by Guadalajara to silence the crowd here tonight. Oh, my Lord. Unbelievable. He's still fired up. <laughs> Can you blame him? Unbelievable. And, and Daniel Guadalajara has got a boxing base, but he utilized that takedown to then transition to the striking. And man, oh, man. That was some of the nastiest round and pound that we have ever seen. TK, that's a way to take the crowd out of the fight. For, with performances like that, Guadalajara did not hear all the cheers. He didn't play Kate to the scowl that he was being given to by Baba Hanian. He focused in on his game plan, and he went out and he executed it, and he proved that there are levels to this game. Danielle Guadalajara, despite what the crowd how they were reacting, came in as the undefeated fighter and he's gonna leave that way. In essence, took the opening kickoff and ran it all the way back for the touchdown, partner. Yeah, that was a tremendous, tremendous first round knockout for Daniel Guadalajara, puts an exclamation point, silencing the crowd here tonight at the up next fighting. Baba Kanyan seems to be okay, no worse for the wear. But he's going to have to go back to the drawing board after that one. Well, and we've seen people do that. You know, we talked about the likes of Ray, Ray Sean Rowland, right? Lost his first fight, got knocked out, and he's won three consecutive. I'm sure we're going to see more of Davo Babahamian, as now we're going to take a look back at some of the action. <laughs> man, oh man, incredible stuff. Look at this. Yeah, you see him clear the legs and land this right hand right on the jaw, turning the head. Baba Kanyan goes limp, and that's all referee Gallegos needs to see. 
tremendous victory. The first one set him up as you're gonna see here. Boom, that seasoned him. The second one finished him off the third one for good measure. Nothing like tenderizing the chin with a right hand there. Yeah, a little extra seasoning with that third one. And uh, man, oh man, dynamic stuff for Danielle Guadalajara. UNF fans, referee George Gallegos has called a stop to this fight at 1 minute and 19 seconds of the first round, declaring your winner by knockout out of the blue corner, Daniel Guadalajara. Oh, Gu Guadalajara is an anime fan, and I don't exactly know who who Baki Hanma is, but I think Guadalajara's got him beat, and he went Super Saiyan here as we head into the cage and Schmo. Thanks, Ray, I'm here with you, idiot, Danielle Guadalajara! My man, you silenced the crowd, they're all cheering for your opponent. How does this win feel for you? I mean, it's great, I mean, the win feels fun, you know, it feels incredible. You know, no disrespect to him, I knew he would come out strong, so, and he has a lot of support, so, no disrespect to anybody, I know how it is. It's, you know, we all live the same side, of the different sides of the same coin, so. But you weren't gonna go happy, you weren't gonna go home happy on my expense, dog. I wasn't having that. <laughs> I wasn't having that. I got people on my side, too. And I hear me represent. Represent all my people right there in training lab, Rick House, Indiana, South Carolina, everywhere. I think you ought to won a lot of fans over with that performance. How did you feel when you put his lights out right there on the canvas? Did you know right then and there that this fight would be over? You know, I, it almost didn't feel real, you know, like, I know I got good power in my hands, but it's been a long time since I really knocked somebody's lights out, so when it happened the first time, it didn't feel real, so that's why I had to get another one. And then one more for the, one more for that face off, homie. I had to get him one more for that one. Uh, I'm up, I'm up. And what is up next for you? Well, I feel pretty good, so I guess go back to the camera website and find another one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get up for your winner!